Hi, my name is Diva and I'm at Pocha Montreal, which is a three-day Korean street food festival in Montreal from July 6th to July 9th. And it's basically just a celebration of Korean street food, Korean culture, Korean art. As you can see right behind me, there's so many stalls selling delicious Korean street food. The smell here, it's phenomenal. What better way to celebrate Korean culture than through Korean foods? And I think this is the perfect opportunity for me to tell you guys a really big news. I am officially the honorary reporter for Korea for 2023. I got my certificate of appointment. I am so excited and yeah, without further ado, let me show you guys. When I will see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. Okay guys, so far the food smells freaking phenomenal. It was definitely hard to decide what I wanted, but I saw a stand that sells soy garlic chicken cup bop and I think I'm gonna get that, so let's go get it. So I got the cup bop. It looks and smells really good, like look at that. Yeah, that smells freaking phenomenal. I got it with the spicy sauce, obviously. Okay, let's get a good bite with the rice, the chicken, and the greens. That's so good. It's like sweet and spicy. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna get one more thing and I obviously cannot leave the street food without getting takboki, which is probably my favorite Korean street food. It's these spicy sweet rice cakes and they're absolutely delicious and the stall behind me has them so I can't wait to try them. Just got my takboki. The sauce is a bit runny. I don't think I've ever had it like this before. Usually the sauce is thicker, but oh well, let's try it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It's very bland. It's just like, it just tastes like gochujang and water soup with takboki boiled in it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Don't get the takboki, guys. I just like to keep it real with you guys. This is not worth it. And that was a little sneak peek of Pocha Montreal Korean Street Food Festival that is running from July 6th to July 9th in Montreal at Basin Peel. There is a $3 entrance fee and yeah, overall I highly recommend coming here. They've got stalls selling all kinds of Korean street food. Just don't get the takboki. <laughs> Not worth it. And they've got stalls having like Korean products and stuff like kimchi and K-pop related stuff. I don't know a lot about K-pop so I can't talk much on it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all and bye!